How's it going everyone? My name's Omer. Welcome back to week number two of the Championship Prediction League with News at Den. If you're new around here, we're leaving predictions on a weekly basis. Uh, obviously, we are putting up second prize in this competition here. As you can see, the second place prize is a signed Mill home or away jersey, which the season is sponsored by that Mill podcast, which is obviously ourselves. I thought what would be good, like we said last week, is we're playing along with every prediction week by week, leaving our scores. It wasn't the greatest week for me last week. I think I got three points in total. I predicted a 2-2 uh, draw, or 1-1 draw, sorry, here with the Bournemouth uh, West Brom game last Friday. That was actually a 2-2 draw. I predicted a few results on the Saturday. Only one getting me one point and uh, a shocking result for me, to be honest. 1-0 uh, win for Stoke. I went for it. It was actually 3-2 on the day. And then finally on the Sunday, I got one point from the Fulham Middlesbrough game, which I went for 0-0. It was, in fact, 1-1. So we've got a lot to make up for this week. I think we're 55th place in the league table here. We're out of 76. Well, I think it's probably 80 odd here because obviously it takes into account the people on here. this list. Not the greatest. Lots to improve on. Like I said, 55th. Mickey there is actually on the same points as me on three as well. So yeah, lots of uh, room to be put improving there. I think obviously last week, you know, first game of the season, I kind of went in like, you know, hot headed, I suppose. It's hard to kind of predict the league. Ray Rao there has done well on 17 points. Fair play to you. So we've got some making up to do this week. And I guess we best get into our predictions now for week number two. So if you're new around here, be sure to like the video, hit subscribe. We'll be doing this, like I said, every week, topping up our predictions and hopefully making our way up the leaderboard. Uh, I've gone straight into the predictions here for you guys. I've got Peterborough to win 2 0 on the lunchtime kickoff on Saturday. I just fancy Peterborough to kind of put the wrongs right with their first game of the season. Albeit they lost 3 0, I think it was to Luton Town. I think. They'll probably bounce back at an opposition at home on TV. Obviously, Derby County in town who haven't had the best of fortunes. Obviously, done well to actually get a draw last week against Huddersfield. But a lot of off-field turmoil there. And I feel like Peterborough are a side that I'm hoping to do well this season. And hopefully, they'll be able to do the business on Saturday with a 2-0 victory. I've gone 1-1 for Barnsley Coventry. I think Barnsley under new management. I believe they probably, I think they drew last week away to Cardiff. A good result for them on the day against a Coventry team who done well on the Sunday. Uh, obviously, turn around that 1-0 deficit to win 2-1 against Nottingham Forest. I've gone 0-0 for Birmingham Stoke. Obviously, Birmingham got a really good result last Saturday away at Bramall Lane on the 8pm kickoff live on TV. Against Stoke City, who obviously won last week. I just feel like Birmingham are going to be hard to beat this year. Lee Bayer there, and I think he's going to get them kind of steady ship there. And I think a 0-0 result will probably be a fair reflection of the game. I've gone 1-0 for Cardiff. Obviously, Cardiff didn't get a win last week against Barnsley. I feel like they're going to go to Blackpool. Tough place to go, I think it will be this season. But I think they'll probably steer away with a 1-0 win. I've gone Fulham to beat Huddersfield 2-0. Obviously, Fulham drew 0-0 last week. Um, or 1-1, sorry. Uh, but I think they'll probably get off to the scoring start here against Huddersfield. I, just, I can't see Huddersfield doing well this season personally. So I've gone for a 2-0 there. I've gone Hull and QPR to draw 1-1. We obviously played QPR last week. Really good side. But I think Hull, again, up north, tough place to go. They'll be kind of expecting to do well this season and try and cement their place in the championship against the QPR side. That maybe might just have to wait another week to get their first win of the season. Middlesbrough to beat Mr. Bristol City 1-0. I think Neil Warnock's obviously going to have a really good kind of side there. Home form's going to be key. And I think, you know, they're going to go on to kind of push on this year, I think, and maybe trying to get out of top six position. Needing that first win of the season after drawing last week away at Fulham. I've gone Mill to win 3 0. I'm not going to talk much about this game. Instead, I'm going to plug our latest podcast, which was out yesterday on YouTube, and you'll be able to find it on our last video on the, on the YouTube channel. I've gone 3 0. I've gone my heart completely there. I just feel like we're going to go into t tomorrow, onto Saturday's game, sorry, with a full then, hopefully put on a performance that we'll all be proud of and send us home thinking this could be our year. Okay, 3-0 uh, was a bit ambitious, but I said it in the show yesterday, so I've got to back it up in this prediction, and I've gone for 3-0 Millwall. We've got Nottingham Forest and Bournemouth to draw 1-1. I think Bournemouth will get their second draw of the season. Forest will get their first point. Obviously, last week was unlucky for them. I thought they actually played quite well in the game on Sunday against Coventry, up until the point where they scored, and then I think sitting back, you know, Coventry showed a couple of good players that they made some subs, and O'Hare getting involved on the ball. And I think they kind of just got caught napping a little bit there. But I think a 1-1 draw against two decent sides in the championship with Bournemouth looking to kind of obviously kick on with Scott Parker. I think that's probably just, you know, a fair draw will be on the day. I've gone Reading and Preston to draw 0-0. Not impressed with either of these sides, to be honest. I think Reading obviously lost last week away at Stoke. Preston, again, I think they got beat quite comfortably at home against Hull. Uh, but I think they'll stable the ship, get a 0-0 draw and hopefully build on that for their season. I've gone West Brom to win 2-1. Varel Ishmael's first game in charge at the Hawthorns. 
in the league campaign. And I just think he'll probably get them fired up for the occasion against a losing side, like we said, done well last week to beat Peterborough 3-0. Last up, I've got Sheffield United kicking off at 8 o'clock again. I mean, if you're a Sheffield United fan, how do you feel about that personally? I think I wouldn't enjoy that if it was Millwall playing at City o'clock on a Saturday night. But away to Swansea, Swansea side that I think last week, how did they get on Swansea actually? I should probably check this. They lost 2-1 to Blackburn Rovers, who obviously we play tomorrow on Saturday. I keep saying tomorrow, but this video's going out on Thursday, so you have to forgive me there. But there's my predictions. I think it's going to be, you know, an entertaining first home game of the season for Millwall at home. Like I said, if you haven't already, check out our latest podcast. Uh, we're obviously available on YouTube and also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts and Amazon. Uh, be sure to give it a listen. I think myself and Kai, you know, we're quite confident about this season. So I've got to back it up. I've got to go for it. So that's all for today. Here's my predictions. Obviously, here's the leaderboard again. Like I said, 55th place. Got to try and do better this week. If you're at the top already, fair play to you. Ray Rao there in first place. So that's me for week number two. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Comment below your own predictions and let me know how you're getting on in the table here. If you're one of these names in here, be sure to say hello. And uh, yeah, I'm on Millwall.